Hi, I'm Emily from the Keto Twins and welcome to our little cabin in the woods. Sarah and I rented this cabin for the weekend and we're gonna show you in this video how we eat keto even on vacation. For breakfast, we're going to have a chaffle sausage breakfast sandwich. Uh, for lunch, we're going to have a keto pumpkin chili with cornbread biscuits. And for dinner, we're going to be having ribs that our husbands are preparing right now and we're gonna smoke them on the barbecue. And if you haven't noticed already, I am wearing um, my favorite fall accessory, the comfy. I know it's humongous, but it's actually meant to be this way. I don't care anymore. This thing is so comfortable. We wear it every time winter comes around and we just had to bring it up here to this cabin. It's called fashion. Look it up. So it's mid-morning now on our Door County vacation and we have a pot of coffee brewing right now so you might hear that. We're gonna start off our day with breakfast chaffle sandwiches. If you guys wanna see how to make the perfect chaffle, you can click on the video in the description after this one, of course. So let's get started. So our chaffle sandwiches are gonna be pretty basic. We're gonna go in with a sausage patty, um, an over easy egg, so we're gonna make this special by putting on this wild ramp goat cheese spread that we picked up from Door County Creamery. It's one of our favorite places in Sister Bay. If you ever go to Door County, make sure to check them out. They have great products and um, they have keto friendly options like a charcuterie board and salads and stuff. So we really love this place. We always go there. We make it a point to go there when we're coming into town and we're in the middle of town and we're leaving town <laughs> and multiple times. So check it out. And here are my chapels. Um, I made these a few days ago before we got here. Um, I like to space them out with these little parchment rounds. This is the perfect size container for Dash mini sized chapels. We'll link all of these products in the description below if you're interested in them. They're also linked in the guide if you wanna see how to make the perfect chapel. almost done cooking and our chocolates are heated up so we're gonna put the sandwich together. Keto breakfast is served. So here we are, we got membrane removed. We have two to one pepper to salt ratio with a little bit of paprika. And we're gonna smoke them about 225 to 250 for about six hours. So now we're gonna make a little quick lunch. I'm actually reheating some keto pumpkin chili that I made earlier. I found a recipe online and I pretty much substituted the beans in the recipe for cauliflower just to make it keto friendly. I'm gonna be serving them alongside these keto cornbread muffins. I actually added jalapeno and cheddar to this mix. Um, we'll link the product in the description below. They're by Good Deez and they are awesome. The chili leaves a lot to be desired, but it's really good. <laughs> actually, it just doesn't look that great right now, but. You know, if you put some chives on it or something, green it up a, a bit. parsley. It'll look okay. Plus you put cheese, you know, we're gonna put some cheddar cheese on there. I don't need to sell it to you, but this is what it looks like a couple <laughs> days later. It looks better when it's fresh. I don't know. So 
So I'm gonna try Sarah's Keto Pumpkin Chili, which I've never had before. I'm interested to see if I can actually taste the pumpkin. It's really, really good. I'm surprised. <laughs> it kind hey. of looks like lasagna, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but it tastes really good. It's actually missing like the things that make it look like a chili, like mm. the beans. Mm -hmm. So um, it still tastes exactly like a chili, a chili though. Let's try the cornbread. Does it taste really like cornbread? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's really, really good. I'm surprised. <laughs> hey! Sarah will link the original recipe below. <laughs> Time to serve the husbands. It is a keto pumpkin chili with a keto cornbread muffin with cool. cheddar and jalapeno. Enjoy. Bon appetit. What is the status? Uh, we're going to wrap it with aluminum foil. So this method is three hours on with the smoke and then three hours wrapped. Um, Brad, if you want to lay down some foil here. So no time in the woods is complete without s'mores. And we're going to do a keto friendly option. I looked all over the internet for keto friendly graham crackers and I could not find them in time to make this video. So we're going to substitute the keto graham crackers for these Lakanto cookies. I think they'll be just as good. Um, you can buy this online. We'll link it in the description below, but we're just going to add this to our s'more, if you will, s'more and um, I think it's gonna be tasty anyway. Um, all you need for this is one half cup of soft coconut oil, or you could use butter, which we're gonna use, and one egg. So let's get mixing this, and we're gonna put them in the oven at 325 for eight to 12 minutes. So our keto friendly cookies are in the oven baking. For the chocolate part, we're gonna use this Russell Stover sugar-free um, chocolate made with stevia extract. It's dark chocolate, that's all we could find. And online on Amazon, I was able to find these sugar-free marshmallows. Um, people complained because there's like seven marshmallows in here and it was like $5, but you know what? Buying keto things are expensive and we don't plan on eating this all the time, so I felt like it was okay to splurge um, and buy these for this special occasion. So I don't plan on eating s'mores every day, so I think that's worth it if you want that experience, but you don't want the carbs. So we haven't eaten our dinner yet, but I'm gonna do one of these s'mores on camera because the sun is setting. I'm not sure how my camera is gonna do in the lower light. Here we have the Lakanto sugar cookies that we made that kind of look like graham crackers. Oops, they're still warm, so they're melting. <laughs> um, then I have the sugar-free marshmallows. So we're gonna go out really quick and I wanna Make a s'more. S'more. I'm gonna make a s'more. I don't know why I keep on saying s'more. It's a disease. I don't know. I've been saying s'more instead of s'more. I'm Sean Connery. I don't know. Okay, let's go. We are part Scottish. True. I don't know how these are gonna cook. I'm gonna put like three of them. I don't know if it's going to actually char or not. I've never it's, done this it's before. It's getting color on it. Yeah. Just maybe. Oh. It's an ember. I, don't, I can't eat that. Can I? Can yeah. I ember? What? Yeah. So on top of our chocolate, <laughs> uh. Uh. 
Do I have marshmallow on my face? Yeah. Mm. It tastes just like a s'more. Kind of. A s'more. <laughs> s'more! It tastes like a s'more. It's breaking apart, but it's still good. So now we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna save this for later. And we're gonna eat our ribs. So the ribs are finally done. They've been pulled off the smoker after being on there for like six hours. They look divine. Mustard, black pepper, and salt. That's pretty much it. There's no carbs in this. So um, I'm gonna enjoy. I hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed our little trip to Door County, Wisconsin. I'm Sarah from the Keto Twins, signing out. It's probably hot. Do I have stuff on my face? No.